Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will cover engine control room. On my back, you will see main switchboard. So, this is covering from this side to long back going till there. So, this is a very big switchboard because this is feeding power to complete chip. So, this is a very important panel if you talk about a chip. So, you can see how bigger it is. I'll start from that side and I will try to show each and every uh, equipment which are attached to it and how they works uh, and what are the safeties and other things which are there in main switchboard. So we'll start and uh, see what things are there. So I will start from this side. This is this big, this big unit is your 220 feeder panel. In this we have a current reading, voltage reading, insulation and whatever the equipment which are connected with 220 is there. So you can see mostly everything is covered and below you will find transformer. Right now one is connected, main transformer which converts 440 to 220. So whatever the equipments which are running with 220 are fed from this. So these are the main breakers which are connected here. This side you will see for our uh, refreshment we have a coffee and hot water boilers and below you will find a refrigerator. So in break time we refresh ourselves using all this. This side you will see sounding chart and these are some notices. Above you will see clinometer. Okay. So we will come to this side, this side we have one group starter panel number one, one this side and the second group starter panel is over there. In between you will find number one, number two, number three generators and between synchronizing panel. On ship you will find two sets of uh, pumps, if you talk about fuel also circulating pump, supply pump, or main cooling sea water pump or anything. They are uh, divided into two groups. Uh, one group is attached with this side and the number two group or number two pumps are attached to that side. This is basically provided that if there is a, any fault in this or uh, let's say if there is a fire over that side. So with the help of tiebreaker we can disconnect the main switchboard and we can run these machineries. So this is the main reason they have provided two groups so that uh, both the groups are independent of handling the, all the equipments. So in case of emergency we are able to run the machinery. So ship is not going to stop. 
so this side you will find main engine jacket cooling fresh water pump composite boiler feed pump number one main engine cam low ball booster pump sub main engine supply pump main engine fuel oil circulating pump and generator fuel oil circulating pump all the number one pumps are connected with number one group starter panel down you will find uh, engine room blowers and hfo transfer pump right now it is running we have main low ball pump and fire gs pump so this side all number one pumps are there quickly i will go to that side so that i can show you number two group starter panel this is the number two group starter panel so here you are going to see number two main engine jacket cooling fresh water pump number two composite boiler feed water pump number two main engine cam low ball booster pump number two main fuel oil supply pump number two main engine fuel oil circulating pump and number two generator fuel oil circulating pump you will below you will find two sets of engine room blowers do transfer pump double transfer pump auxiliary boiler feed water pump number 2 so what i mean to say all the number 2 pumps basically we have two sets of pumps and motors so all number 2 pumps are connected with this and number 1 is connected over there which i was showing you so we'll go back to that side so that we can connect from uh, one side and i i'll be able to cover it so next to this group starter panel after this you will find number 1 ac 440 feeder panel so in this you will find a uh, huge breakers mccb are there so let's say this mccb is connecting number 1 deck water seal pump and ig scrubber cooling water pump so two of the equipments are connected or you can say two of the starters are connected with this single mccb and this one is for power panel for auxiliary boiler below this is the emergency stop plate specification whatever uh, symbols is there let's say this es1 is emergency stop which is fan in engine room emergency stop fuel oil low ball hydraulic oil do pumps emergency stop for do pumps in engine room emergency stop fan stop so e es1 es2a es2b es3 a mark with red color so these how you are going to follow this check the uh, red color marking let's say the es1 es1 is connected with this so this becomes very easy to find out which one is connected with uh, emergency stop or uh, co2 trip so this your power panel is connected with uh, ct1 ct1 is co2 trip fan in engine room this number 1 main engine auxiliary blower is also connected with es1 and ct1 below you will find this lgsp local group starter panel you can see a very list of big equipments are there which is connected with this lgs lgsp local group starter panel in that local group starter panel you will find all these uh, starter for all these equipment so this single mccb of 125 amp is controlling all these or is giving feed to all these equipments this is the pt1 pt1 is your preferential trip first preferential trip pt2 is second preferential trip so pt1 pt2 is the safety which is given on uh, main switch board so that if there is a excess load on generator running generator uh, number one preferential trip will occur first so it is going to trip all the non essential load first and then it is going to trip number 2 this breaker is for main transformer right now it is on so with the help of these symbols which are there you are going to connect that which breakers are connected with uh, preferential trip co2 trip or emergency stop so you can see very clearly they are marked so you don't need to check all the time manual it is very well marked okay below you will find a power pack number 4 acb so we have uh, on this ship the framo system is there and we have four set of electric power pack so you will see four acb 
for individual power packs electric power pack so you will see here number 4 hydraulic power pack motor number 4 hydraulic power pack number 5 and this side hydraulic power pack motor number 6 and hydraulic power pack number 7 so two over this side and two over that side so total four electric power packs are there this is also same 440 because your 220 is connected only to that panel and this side you will find number one generator panel right now it is running and below you will find acb for number one generator right now it is closed because it is running this is main bus tie and esbd fitter panel and this is the breaker which is connecting your main switchboard and emergency switchboard this is your synchronizing panel here you will find all three generator connected you can see the kilowatt 440 low insulation this is your frequency meter voltmeter and your synchroscope which tell you your phase sequence either it is too fast or too low this is your synchronizing lamp these levers are for starting and stopping engine this is for closing your acb closing or opening this is for governor motor if you want to raise or lower the load uh, you have to use this lever below you will find a uh, buzzer stops and acb to trip your emergency acb or bus tie acb this is your number 2 generator panel and which is right now stopped below you will find the acb for it and right now it is open same goes for this right now this is stop number 3 generator below you will find acb and this is your number 2 ac 440 feeder panel same like that number 1 feeder panel 440 equipments are there which are connected with these mcb your service air compressor galley power pack feed your boson store fans so whatever the equipment which are fed from 440 are connected over here below you will find number 6 power pack acb this side number 7 power pack acb danger high voltage same symbol is represented over here for the ease and this said i have already shown you this is the number 2 group starter panel below you will find rubber mat this is for the iccp remote monitoring so you can check the aft and uh, forward reading here using this knob on this ship i have a gas system for this five different location wedge room fish room main room so if there is a refer leak in these units uh, they are going to give alarm on ceilings uh you can see fire sensors are there emergency lights and we have uh fire sensor for both the sides uh this side also you can see one sensor and one emergency light with imo symbol and these are the duct for fresh air and you can see uh, multiple ducts and one duct you can see which is connected to engine blower this is your uh, first aid kit box
and this is the extra one uh, which is provided over here in this uh, you will find all the uh, medical first aid items so guys this side uh, we have two pc for doing our paperwork these are the manuals on top you will see first aid kit and few uh, company manuals this is the exit door ebd your work plan board and your ganpati pappa this side i have already shown you and one more exit door to over that side and these are the two glasses to view outside your uh, control room so this side one oven is there guys we have two sets of uh, ebd unit uh, in our ecr so in case you want to exit in case of emergency uh, you can open this wooden boxes and um, use this ebd so they are very close to your entrance and exit doors this is a insulation glove pouch if you are working on uh, electrical you have to use them this is the uh, back side of main switchboard so below you will see rubber mat and this is the fresh air intake of uh, your ecr ac and on top you can see the outlet of that ac so fresh air will take uh, will go from this side and the chilled air will come from top and this is your uh, the back side of main switchboard so if you want to work on main switchboard you can open this and work on it so guys uh, i hope i was able to explain you uh, something about main switchboard and engine control console so we'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care